Welcome, Nick DiPaolo. Do you know who kid? <laughs> I don't. Hi, who this kid? is Nick. <laughs> What's up, man? <laughs> you know who's not going to put on? We were talking to who kid before you got in about yeah. uh, uh, like white guys and even if they're rich and celebrities who put on like the black scent. Oh, God. How much we hate that? Yeah, I hate it. I hate it. What is that black scent? When you guys, know, white guys act when they when they talk one way and then they talk to a, a black. Yo, what up, kid? Yeah, what do you, thank <laughs> you, nah, Roland. Nick, Nick, Nick don't look like that kind of guy. <laughs> no, though. that's not me at all. You're right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Jim, are you surprised Nick DiPaolo didn't come in and go, "Yo, who, kid? What up?" <laughs> no, <laughs> well, I kind of did a little of that last night. The stand, I got to be honest. Did you? Well, yeah, this black guy. I, I haven't been in there in a fucking year, and again, they all blend into me. So uh, <laughs> I like, just went, "What up?" <laughs> fucking, you know, the fucking nine minute handshake. And then right. I'm like, then I, who's that? Oh, it's Derek. <laughs> <laughs> what do I know? <laughs> how many artists, how many um, celebrities has been on the show that act black because I'm black? A lot. I mean, I've been, I've seen we it. We don't see it though because they're not in with us. Right. <laughs> They don't act black when they're with us, uh, right? But I've seen it because, like, I'll 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 interview them, mm -hmm. and then they'll go and do your show, and I'll sit in on your show, mm -hmm. and I'll watch them just be a totally different person. And I'm like, only you didn't talk like that around me. What are you talking like that and, for? And I talk like this, like like I'm as white as can be. Yeah. Well, <laughs> not as white as well. Mike Tyson, who could I could tell you a black if I was on the phone with you. <laughs> you could, uh, for real, a little yeah. bit. <laughs> no, but not heavy. You're right. You're not. Right. He brought us Tyson the first time. Yeah. He said he would, and he did. I couldn't believe it. And Mike Tyson said that you were the whitest black guy uh, he knew. I think he phrased it differently. That's right. <laughs> he was like, yeah, you're, so su so you're superlative. I was like, you're so superlative. <laughs> <laughs> My nigga. Andrew, uh, uh, <laughs> Andrew Schultz was in here uh, early this morning because he's doing Sway's show today. Should I know him? And he, he was, yeah. Oh, you shit. Know. <laughs> I don't follow show business. He, Honest to God. He was, he's a fellow comedian who had a Nick DiPaolo story. Oh, I like yeah. that kid. Get yeah, out. yeah, yeah. The funny was, kid. Chappelle. He was talking, yeah, he said that Chappelle had, was telling a story about you, about how he was doing a, a, some show and you guys were all doing it. In L.A.? And it yeah. was at the, the, the disabled comic? Yeah. Yeah, that a disabled comic uh, is on stage mm -hmm. and he's killing. He did like 10 minutes and he's like severely disabled. Was missing arms and shit? I don't know. Not missing anything, but none of it worked. <laughs> Might as well have been missing it, right? <laughs> it was all useless. Yeah, it was all for aesthetics. <laughs> yeah, his props. <laughs> so oh, here comes old dead arm. Right. <laughs> so, oh man, that's horrible, isn't it? So Damn. Nick Nick goes up there, and then you know people are like, "Well, how's how's Nick gonna handle this? This guy just killed, and now Nick's got to follow it." Okay. So apparently, Nick did about ten minutes straight. Of just a disabled person comedy that was bombing, <laughs> like heart, oh, from heartless shit. Oh yeah, yeah. just totally heartless shit. <laughs> Some about and it was a McDonald's fucking reference and oh. Um, but when you came with a helmet working at McDonald's because <laughs> that was true. Like, hey Gretzky, can I get a fillet of fish or something? It was something like that. And, I mean, and that was supposed to you know rip the tits off the crowd like a cricket. Some <laughs> oh here we go. And yeah. instead of abandoning that, right. I'm like fuck these. And I you know kept digging the hole. Deeper and deeper, and people enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah, that's what I, I like. When you bomb like that, do you be like, okay, I got to win this crowd back? Or, okay, fuckers, if you thought that was bad, wait till that, I got... Well, that's, you know, Jimmy, right? There's nights where you're like, I'm up, fuck you, people. Right. Yeah. You, if you do it long enough, yeah. and he'll tell you this, if you do it long enough, bombing, it's, it, it, the, even the silence is almost as good as the laughs. I'm like, <laughs> if, I'm in, if I'm in a bad mood, <laughs> and they hate me... It's, uh, you can't lose. Right. It depends on what, I did a cancer right? benefit where I opened with a can't, like the joke I opened oh, with. Oh, no, come on. <laughs> no, no, but I did some joke about killing or something, and it, whatever, and it, it got a zero, and I immediately knew it was like one of two things, but I was like, it was just, it, it wasn't a great joke, so I couldn't tell if they were just being sensitive, it was just not a great joke, so I just went into my, I tried one regular joke and it worked, okay. so I was like, okay. Right, it was they were they were fine. But it was you a had terrible joke. But you smelled this hint of like this could go really wrong. You don't want to really bomb quick. at a cancer benefit because you did cancer joke. Like I just didn't. I didn't have enough good cancer jokes to to justify it. I just had right. one shitty one. But I love that that happens in comedy <laughs> when you're in a bad mood. Like who kid? Like if you're in a bad mood. Mm -hmm. You're not just gonna play like shitty music that nobody dances to, right? Like if you're I mean, if you're DJing a club, you're not just gonna play what they don't want to hear. I had to DJ one of those. Uh, what do you call the, the handicap parties? Like <laughs> I don't know what they're called. It, it, it was for a charity, but it was all handicap. It was like a thousand, like 
the same called the benefit for cripples. How do you say, how, how do you say, how do you say retarded politically? <laughs> Sam Roberts. <laughs> I don't think that's the correct terminology. <laughs> Physically challenged. Phys- that's it. Thank. You. We always go to Nick DiPaolo to uh, get the no, PC mentally, answer. Uh, yeah. Mentally or physically challenged. Oh, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. So that's they, right. So they Challenge you. like it's a game show. <laughs> it's funny. Yeah. The <laughs> legs don't work. Get over it. <laughs> right. Yeah. No matter how. You're not beating that challenge, buddy. <laughs> you're not winning this one. <laughs> you're not going to overcome. <laughs> <laughs> these, these motherfuckers gave me a list of songs I couldn't play at the, because, you know, if you play certain hype songs, they can't control them because there's only like. <laughs> Thirty disorders. Oh, so they're like, so they're like mentally challenged. I can't play. All I do is win because they be wilding. I they just play. go fucking crazy. And really? yeah, I can't be going crazy, man. Yo, <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! I can't play. All I'm gonna do is zoom, zoom, zoom because I'll be yelling that for three weeks. <laughs> I mean, they, they, said, they said retards got strength. I mean, I mean, not retard. I'm bugging. Yeah, I know. What you mean. Mentally you challenged. Mean. You mean? I'm, sorry. They I'm, from, that... I'm from the '80s, man. I still say faggot, man. They... <laughs> Me too. In the mirror. Uh, the 80s, <laughs> I do too. I'm not letting that word go. <laughs> I Whoa. call my father. Father that my bro- I've called I say this on stage I've used a faggot a thousand times I don't think I've ever called a gay guy a faggot so yeah. it's my brother <laughs> you know my fucking father right right always gay by the way I think it's like a, it's, a, it's a funny word and you know from the, everybody said it I just love that you're you're dealing with a bunch of people and that's really like how they're caring for the mentally challenged like look. We don't want to play anything that like is too upbeat because we won't be no. able to control them. <laughs> like you might like you're drugging them and not letting them hear certain They're music. Going crazy, and then I, and I played it by mistake. It was over. Like <laughs> people, they were body slamming people in white. You know they wear all the white suits and stuff. <laughs> right. They were body slamming motherfuckers everywhere. <laughs> I didn't realize they were still uh, uh, caring for them like that. The yeah. orderlies were coming yeah, like, in and just... Like Cuckoo's nuts. Yeah, yeah. knocking them out. Fight. You yeah. still don't know where you are, do you, McMurphy? <laughs> and, and, they, and, yeah, and they really, they really whack off, like, randomly. Like, there's what? No, there's, there's no sexual stuff going on, but they whack off. They like masturbating. Yeah. I guess I'm mentally challenged. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ain't no wrong being a retard. You're just pulling them out? <laughs> Nothing wrong with being a retard. Stop it, man. <laughs> pulling them out. <laughs> Did you see anybody jerking off while you were... Uh, they told me that because I was DJing. I was in a corner. Don't be alarmed. They yeah. may start masturbating. Yeah. Somebody throws something at you. It's not tapioca. Don't eat it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I like, and I didn't know there was a retard social media. I was in all the fucking well, Instagrams and all the blogs. What do you mean? What is, what is, is it their own like... Uh, it's with uh, that 50 Tyson guy. I had to do a charity. He's like mentally, but he looks like 50 Cent Tyson. <laughs> What? But he's like Fifty Tyson. The, oh, the oh, rapper guy. The guy who uh, who come who on, Sam, the, you know the shit. The guy who does the D's nuts jokes and goes, "Got him." No, that that's, guy. No, not that nigga. Fifty I'm Tyson. Little, little motherfucker. <laughs> he's kind of retarded, though, right? No, this one looks like Fifty Cent Tyson mixed. Oh, let saying. me see. Is it this guy? 50, yeah, ten yeah, million views. A, Tyson yeah. the model? Or? No, that's oh, like Tyson a fighter. Yeah. The, the video is called Fifty Tyson. Yeah, that's him. Look, that he he like, calls himself Fifty Tyson because he's. 50 Cent mixed with Mike Tyson. Oh, yeah. 50 Tyson. What's him? <laughs> Tyson, nah, same, but, but it's like, man, hit me up, though. My album is coming out in stores. Please soon. Go get it up. And then it's going to be popping, though, nah, same. But I know you see, man. Translator. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be popping, though, you know what I'm saying? I call myself 40 Butterfuko. <laughs> 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 it's the Long Island version. <laughs> well, that was, that was he does look holy shit. Yeah, he do. Yeah. Holy Christ! Fifty Cent and Mike Tyson. How's his album? Fine. Yeah, did we? Did you manage to pick up a copy of his album? Uh, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> he opens with people who need people. It's really song, <laughs> yeah. odd song choices. <laughs> but they, but they think he's like he's like the most famous artist in that handicapped world. Is he like, handicapped? Yeah, he's handicapped too. Oh. He's mentally challenged. Whatever oh. you guys are saying. Did smaller? you? Yeah. Did you? It's hard to tell sometimes. Yeah, he doesn't seem. He seems. Well, smart. not in this case. I don't think. I, I'm not yeah, he, like. Yo, he gets his what do you mean? It could be Kanye. Kanye. He gets his dick sucked. You think that could be no. Kanye? Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, yeah, he could be he that, crazy too. too. <laughs> That's seven there you go. crazy, too, man. He crazy, too, though. <laughs> that shit is a bunch of bullshit. Did you hear about You're Kanye? right. You're yeah. absolutely right. Kanye, what are you talking about, Nick? He's going through severe depression. Yeah, he's, exa- yeah. I, he's exhausted. Yeah, he's exhausted He and worked depressed. so hard. I love that. You know what working hard is when you kind of, you know, it's like fucking, you're working on your music, you're smoking weed, hang out with 12 guys. Right. Then you go look at the shoes you designed for a half hour. Right. Then high again, then mm-hmm. you fuck one of the Kardashians. That's an 18-hour <laughs> work day. Even, is it Am shoe, I right, Jimmy? Yeah. Is it shoes you designed or is it shoes you approved the design of? That like, you, yep, that's you the go. one. That's, that's my shoe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they have foot models come in and he lays 
there picking them out. You yeah, know? yeah. That's how I, mean, I see I, it. You're, you're a cool white guy. Would you wear a twenty five hundred dollar pair of shoes from Kanye West? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Dep- depends what they when look that, like. Uh, that would be great. And I'm not going to wear them in the Bronx. <laughs> I feel like I, I feel like <laughs> I would hit all spectrums if I was wearing my uh, Nick DiPaolo podcast t shirt and Yeezys. You yeah, know, if I, you yeah, know what I mean. Covering the end of the spec. That's right. And just letting wow. everybody know, like, hey, it's what? it's all it's all good. That's hey, right. From yeah. head to toe. Right. right. He's tired. He's had a very tuckering out tour. <laughs> and uh, just the way he fucks his fans constantly, oh, walking Kanye? off after three songs. Like, what a twat. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> unless he's mentally ill, like, unless there's something he's genuinely be, wrong with him. I did, like, I it's did not that a, the comedy works. Did you? No. Why? <laughs> oh. I was tired. I was exhausted. You yeah. never did one joke and said, fuck everybody. Yeah, yeah. a few people. Two Jews walk into a bar. I need a nap. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> <See you. laughs> no, don't bring up the Jews thing. <laughs> well, yeah. You I want you trouble. guys to know I would have voted for Donald Trump. And I'm leaving. Well, okay, fine. <laughs> yeah. He's doing, by the way, his concert, 90 minutes, done. Yeah. In and out. It's not like it's just exhausted. It's 90, 90 minutes. minutes. Yeah, no a opener. A lot of energy. Have you seen him? He really runs around out there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look, the guy's he's a on a very performer. small stage. He's and those 90 minutes. What does he do? I couldn't name a fucking, I just see his he's face. Had, I want to punch it. He's, he's got a, a couple. Of he's actually musically decent. I mean, decent. I, said, I know. I, I know don't love him. I don't love him. I hear that from people who know, say he really is good, but. Does, I think he's gay, number one. Don't you? Uh, well, I've heard speculation. Gay, huh? I, think. I think his brother is his like gay. It runs in a family. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that means uh, if your brother's gay, you're gay. I don't know. I hope depends. not. Yeah, you can get it on you. Oh, Sam, I hope yeah. not. Yeah, I have a gay brother. I hope not. Oh, so does he. Sam? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, you faggot. <laughs> I didn't say it was a faggot when I first met him. No, that doesn't. Ten years ago. I don't think it always runs like that. <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah. It's a lateral. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. The uh, uh, so Kanye, and it's not. A, it's can't, people were saying it's a publicity stunt. He canceled like thirty shows. That's yeah. a lot of money. And this is like yeah. when you start fucking with like Ticketmaster and venues. Well, and, they get mad at. You, oh, they right? get mad. Yeah. yeah, he must be having a like breakdown. I know. He's yeah. having a breakdown. <laughs> he said, "Like I know," <laughs> but he like uh, yeah. So he canceled all his shows. He walked off. After three songs, then he canceled the rest of them. And but how much is he worth already, Sam? You know well, that I mean? guy's worth about $2 million. <laughs> $2 million? <laughs> Could be more. Probably more. Could be more. <laughs> okay. No, but they caught him with the um the food stamp card. He has an EBT card? Yeah, they caught him with it. Get out of here. Yeah, and he checked in as a different name in the hotel. Jim Jones. No. Is that the name is he that? checked in? Like, bro, what? you think I'm making this Was up? Was this part of the breakdown he just had, you mean? Or he this was a while ago? When they, when they arrested him, they checked his ID. He had a food stamp card. Does he have an Obama phone, too? I don't know about that. He had a food stamp card? <laughs> yeah. Guy's a zillionaire. <laughs> Fucking yeah. married to a zillionaire. Yeah. yeah. And the, I don't know what that is. You know what I mean? I got, I, I'm a rich nigga, man. I don't you know you operate car. mainly in cash. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you really? Yeah, I, I hate to spend in cash. Kanye's like, uh, <laughs> Kim, is the government cheese here? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking <laughs> starving up in here. DJ Who Kid accepts payola on his radio show, so Hell that's yeah. that's done in cash. So he's Fuck then got to. Yeah. Oh, you do payola. Get yeah. careful. <laughs> so what would pay all of me? How does it work? They could pay me. I'll play it. Yeah. Oh, for, to play music. Yeah, but in layman's terms. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Explain to me. I, especially if you hear I'm saying, yo, this song is extra hot. <laughs> yeah, what is that code for? I to it, that Billy D. Williams bullshit. Right. They know I'm lying, and I got paid. <laughs> I see. Yeah? I yeah how much they, they can tell by the way you... <laughs> yeah. How much does it cost? Uh, probably like three to five. Depends on the, how right? horrible the song is. If it's Hundred. really bad, have you like, played some? No, a thousand. Not to play it once. Eh. No. Who kid is hot in these streets? I don't know if you know yeah. this or not, Jim. I, I have no doubt that Nick who knows. Kid is hot. <laughs> well, that was our business. The Italians were the pay and play. Fucking, right. Yeah, and the Jews. You know? Right. That's you, what you, I learned from. You've seen the Sopranos, right? Of course. And uh, <laughs> they the ones who hesh. That's right. <laughs> yeah. But I didn't know it was that much. Three or five thousand to play at once? I mean, if you got seven million dickheads smoking weed and drugs and fucking with our condoms, they're tuned in and you play one song, they're not going to remember the song. You know what we should do? We should start seeing if we can charge some of these open mics to come in and, do that on and, show. and sit in here. Yeah. <laughs> Fifteen hundred. We'll laugh at all your shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can set that up for y'all, man. No matter how bad the jokes are, we'll go crazy. Yeah. I got a lot of corny homies. That you know what? Here. People would do that. Though. <laughs> anyway, I, how, what, what can the signal to the audience be? How about if Samurai at the end goes, <laughs> you'll know we got paid and that we, we were winking at you if we go, and uh, and y'all can check him. We'll say, <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe Sam never did that. No, I've always worked. It's harder to do and talk. Plus, yeah. 
People pay attention to what we're doing. I mean, how would you do I, a lot I, under I, the radar? I'm so paranoid, I can't even think of like uh, any type of pay for play. It just fucking freaks me Just out. after the song, you go ka ching. It's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> easy. You meet them, they pay you, and you laugh. That's it, yeah. And you play. And comics would do that. If you did that tomorrow, I'm telling you. Comics would do that. You'd have it, a right? line of fucking, oh my God, they're the most desperate people I would in the feel world. so dirty doing that. Though. You would? Yeah, let's do it. I'd feel very Italian. You would do, well, you would do it as a, young, as a kid, though, right? If you had the money? I don't would know. Would young Jim Norton do it? I don't know if I had an attraction. I remember I did radio with a guy, my buddy Frank Del Pizzo. And I was my first time doing radio, and I was terrible at it. And uh, we were in the, it was like an afternoon show that was South Jersey. Frank was very popular. And I didn't know what to say on the Frank radio. Frank from Jersey. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He was very popular. And he said, uh, I wasn't saying anything at the mic. He goes, say hello, Jim. And I went, hello, Jim. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh. Wow, looks like we really do Disgusting. got a comedian in the room. Yeah, <laughs> fucking <God>. uh, Boo Ola. <laughs> <laughs> then he threw hot coffee in your face <laughs> yeah. on air. Oh, <laughs> so you, guys, you guys are really crazy because we will all have Ferraris. We'll be shopping at Louis and all that. Now, but you know what they find out though, you know and you saying? get fucking comedians are blabbermouths. The That's comedians true. would tell. Yeah. They do a bit on it. Yeah, no. you know, you could you could you yeah. could get on this radio show. It's only fifteen hundred bucks. You could do the show. No, they'd say it on the show. <laughs> yeah, they go, Can I do my payola chunk I wrote? Yeah. <laughs> but they'd say, Hey, no laughs. I'm paying for this, and the, the, the three or four big mouth comedians uh, are saying, "Man, it. <laughs> it's it's true though." Because now, even more than like when you guys were coming up, way more. I think people want to be famous, yeah. and there's a lot of people that try comedy mm. that you know aren't going to stick around, but they just want. But to you, be everyone talks famous. now with social media. The first joke you didn't laugh at that blow you up. I paid money. Why you let him do? It. Fuck that. Right. Yeah. I guess I don't have the money mm. to get on the show. Oh, comedians would fucking snitch in a second. They'd be so, angrily. Yeah, they'd be ticked <laughs> off, wouldn't they? Yeah. yeah, you don't want a bunch of fucking pissed off comedians. This is no. the last thing we need. Two right. face cocksuck is all of us. <laughs> yeah. Plus, it'd probably be like Nick. Nick would be like, hey, guys, I need to promote this thing. Ah, we got a guy paying to come in, so we're going to bump you, Nick. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> what if we couldn't have him in because we were off? What do you got somebody on, on Twitter? What do you got someone paying you? Fuck you. No, we're just off today. <laughs> yeah. It's Sunday. <laughs> But look, I only uh, charge one percent of what the the record labels pay. They pay two hundred fifty grand to get their songs spent. Well, that's one of the no. things. No, for how many? Th- 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 what's got to be a rotation time? A month or what? I mean, I've known artists they had like four hundred thousand dollar budgets for their singles to blow up on towards the terrestrial radio. That's what Kanye yeah. right before his breakdown, he was interrupting. That's how you know he's having a breakdown too. I saw him at the beginning of his tour when he was at the Garden, <laughs> and it was awesome. All music, no interruptions, no rants. You went and saw no Kanye? Nothing. I love Kanye. Do you? Yeah. Musically. You know. Yep. Yeah. So mm-hmm. when he just does a show, and when he just does his songs, and when he performs, awesome. Great. Well, when he starts to... And then as the tour went on, he talked a little more. Starts to believe Jesus yeah. halfway through more, the show. A little more, And that's when, like two days before he canceled all the tours, he just started going, fuck radio. Who, by the way, radio plays Kanye all the time. All day. You know who gave him Is a that good... what he said? He yeah. goes, fuck radio. He goes, I like Drake, but they play Drake too much. I said, I fuck like radio this. to my agent, Tony Burton, but a year ago. <laughs> <laughs> that was for different reasons, so. He, uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah it's, he's really, he's really, I saw a good interview with him. There's a guy uh, named, you know, Charlemagne, he does. Uh, Charlemagne on, the God. Well, I don't know what. Uh, the stage, Breakfast Club. Breakfast Club. And he gave him a really honest interview. Like, I don't know what their relationship is, but he was telling him, like, what he liked about him and, like, some of the stuff that he didn't like. It was a really honest, and Kanye responded to the honesty. Like, he didn't. He didn't walk out. I mean, he, he took the guy telling him he didn't like wow. his stuff. Like he, you know, he 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 dealt with it. He's got to be. He's, he's. I think he's nuts. I think he is too. He's just a little, a little nuts. A little, just enough to. I think. But I was. It's some of it seemed uh, forced or contrived. But I agree. Less, you know, in the hospital with fuck. I don't know, but, but losing all these gigs, canceling a massive tour, yeah, like you said with Ticketmaster and the venue, that and fucking with Live Nation. That's it's a not problem. like he's shitting himself though. <laughs> that's that's where I draw the line. That's the <laughs> litmus test for me. Because he did on on this tour, he had a floating stage that moved. Yeah. So like he had people under him the whole time. And he's peeing on him. And stuff. How great would it be? He just bends. He just squats <laughs> and starts shitting on his fans. <laughs> so what, what, what does he do? I mean, I saw it. He just walks back and forth like. Yeah, it's like a little. It's a. It's a little stage. It's and hard it's work. Hanging from the ceiling. You think it's. I think it's exhausting. He's saying it's. He's tired as fuck. He's tethered into the stage yeah. the whole time. So you think that's the problem? He's tired as fuck. Yeah, he's tired as he's fuck. probably <laughs> tense all the time. Like, that's not easy to manage that kind of stuff. But you just got to finish your tour and shut up. Just he, finish the fucking tour. For buddy. Christ's sake, Stephen Hawkins doing Lincoln commercials. <laughs> <laughs> how, fucking, how, how tough can it be? Good point. Or whatever the fuck. Then uh, again, how much he does? What does oh, he Jaguar. do? He's an exercise. <laughs> just kind of sits there. Right. Nothing but time. <laughs> 
<laughs> Let's see Stephen Hawking prance around. I started to write a bit about that. <laughs> we need somebody who enjoys a smooth ride, <laughs> easy handling. <laughs> I know all these things. Well, you can only blame me because of Kanye, because, you know, I was the last person that was with him, and I told him he sucked. Well, did he you really his know? Car. Yeah, I'm dead ass. Oh, yeah, they, Who Kid's got a good story about, like... I found the video, too. It's on my Instagram. I put you it up. Yeah, put it up today. Uh, no, DJ Who Kid on Instagram. I put it out already. Today? No, I put it out, like, a couple days ago. But... Okay, so search his history or whatever, because, you know, Kanye has been complaining since the beginning, and mm -hmm. he said in the very beginning, and I talked... You know who... Jensen Carp is? Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. you don't. Who the fuck's that? No, no, you don't. Jensen Carp, he, he has phones to the front of the store called Jensen Lewis here <laughs> that <laughs> he's tied in with. They got a little and sofa over there. <laughs> I know. Yeah, yeah. And they got to work at Carp Angle. <laughs> different. Sit on that sofa, nigga. Yeah, no, a different guy. Oh, no, he's different a guy. Jensen Carp. <laughs> yeah, but Who is he, he? He's the like running this... back. Is any for the Eagles? <laughs> <laughs> he's like this white guy. Jenny and Carp. And ended up out of college <laughs> getting a big... Uh, recording, recording contract, deal, right, a yeah. hip hop guy. Yeah. Well, he's not really a hip hop guy. Well, no, he's white. But, but, they, <laughs> but they they gave him a million dollar record contract, and he was this white rapper, and now he's just a. Who know. gave it to him? Uh, was it like Suge? One, <laughs> one of the one of the big names one or the, no? One of the big the record Shug. labels. Yeah, Sugar, take it. Is that yeah. him? <laughs> but he knew, like, he was working with Kanye right mm. before he was famous. Well, oh, that's him right there. That's Jen yeah. Kanye. Wow, Kanye looks young there. Who's yeah. the guy on the right? That's that's him. That's, that's Jen Jensen Carp. Carp. What year yeah, is that? Is that like ninety six, ninety five, or is that no? After? It's 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 later. Jen than that. Carp does look like Probably he has like no musical ability. Ninety nine, two thousand. Yeah, his arms should be hairier. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he looks like he's got Sarah Silverman's arms. <laughs> you know what he does now? Ouch. He writes the uh, the rap battles for uh, what's his name's TV show? Uh, the fat guy on CBS. Uh, <laughs> Are they know, still friends? The late night Fat guy. guy and Tom Selleck? <laughs> yeah, Tom Selleck. You know, the, the, the guy who does the late night show. Gordon? Corden, James Corden. Oh, the gay guy. Yeah, he, yeah, he does he writes the, the songs. He writes the rap battles oh, for James okay. Corden's show now. Oh, wow, I, tell you, I that bet you his fucking really parents are proud. That guy stepped in gold, though. I mean, Did he ever? <laughs> oh, good. Karaoke. What you do in a fucking garbage truck? Yeah. <laughs> 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 fucking. You're sick of it, huh, Nick? You don't that's like it? actually cool. The part, that's the only part of the show. <laughs> Um, I'm sure he's a nice fella. Oh, but, that's a cool stage. Yeah, that's that, terrific. But, What's he on a panini maker? <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> what the fuck's he standing on? It's like a mattress commercial. <laughs> he's talking about Kanye's stage. <laughs> that has a lot of hard work. Look at that. I wouldn't want to be under that. A panini, <laughs> a panini maker. Look at this guy. That's how I had that. I had that at the Comedy Works in Denver. That's how I came on. <laughs> is that right? Yeah. They lowered me down like fucking Kanye. <laughs> So no, they didn't. The guy, who, <laughs> guy who ruins the bit. <laughs> guy with the. That's <laughs> room too small. Yeah, you like my wife? That didn't happen. <laughs> but Jensen Carp was was <laughs> was working with him when Kanye was just a producer before he was a rapper. Uh, You're like uh, fucking Casey Kasem here. Because yeah. I know all the Seriously. musical history. Yes, I yeah. wish he was exactly like Casey Kasem. <laughs> <laughs> In the ground. Yes, <laughs> yes. family uh, fighting over him. No, Sam knows all the shit. So know. this kid was what? He was a white rapper. He He's, got a big deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and Kanye was producing for him. But he said even back then, Kanye would come in making beats for all the rappers and try to get everybody to listen to his music. Like, I rap, too. These are my rap songs, blah, blah, blah. Oh, and everybody was just like, he fucking sucks. Like, they all made fun of him. He would leave the room, and everybody would be like, can you believe he's fucking playing this shit again? And he, then he sucks. And then what was his big break? He was finger-popping him behind a fucking dumpster? <laughs> well, Somebody... I went through that same bullshit, too, but I had Ludacris in the studio, and then Ludacris was like, yo, I came here, you stupid fuck, do your song. <laughs> and who's this dumb nigga in there rapping in the booth? I said, that, I don't know. Him, that's Kanye West. My label signed him to do your beat. Uh -huh. So he's in there, yeah, one plus one equals two, boo, boo, boo. Like all so, these he's weird there, raps, right? so he's supposed to just be there yeah. to make the instrumental for Ludacris. But Luda's there, so he's going crazy. Like it's like Michael Jackson walked in or something, and then he just <laughs> went nuts. Like he's a groupie, so he went in a booth to rap for. Oh, so Kanye Luda. gets excited. Yeah. Oh, he liked Ludacris. Kanye okay. gets excited because Ludacris is there. Sure. And just runs into Ludacris' studio. Yeah, that's like me. And starts when, rapping. When I met Michael Jackson, yeah, I came, but I understand, but. I but want, you're not going to start that, moonwalking. That, that's because he no. was sucking your dick. <laughs> <laughs> I, I plead the fifth. <laughs> I'm not gay, though. That's Michael, yo. You know no, it's not gay if you let Mike tune on it. <laughs> that's that's just good business sense. Yeah. yeah. It's King of pop. That's Absolutely. A, a historical shit right yeah. there. You yeah. Know, that was his humming gene. Well, yeah. anyway. <laughs> you were way too old for him. <laughs> so I ran in there, and I, and I cursed him. I was like, yo, what the fuck you doing? Hurry the fuck up. Go do the beat for Luda. So he goes back out there and Luda picks another beat. Don't even pick his beat. 
Yeah. So then he's furious. Oh, like, he doesn't pick the Kanye West nah. beat. How was uh, the song that Ludacris? How was the eventual song? Um, some shit about uh, I'm sucking some titty or some dumb song. <laughs> some dumb wax I think song. I know that one. Yeah, yes, yeah. A- uh, Andy I'll... Williams coming in on the Christmas <laughs> album. <laughs> it, it, it was really bad. I don't know. I leaked it though. Andy Are you Williams friends with sucking a titty. Yeah, super friends with sucking a titty on Christmas Eve. <laughs> yeah. So I, I told this, I told this fucking guy, wait outside. I'll film you because I was doing a DVD at that time. So I filmed him outside whilst Luda was doing the sucking titty song. Uh huh. He's out there, like getting filmed by me. I had to interview him to calm him down because if he if he knew that I was filming him and I'm gonna put it out, right? Then he's like, "Oh shit, I'm gonna be famous." So he said, "He everything. wanted to be famous so bad." This is like 12 years ago. He yeah. said everything in that in that video. I'm gonna be with Jay Z. I'm gonna do beats for him. Everybody's gonna be on my dick. And this is before clothing. he was in it. Wow, before. Oh and, wow. Okay. And, and then no I, kidding, I huh? found his old tape and it was in it. You know the, the old cassette tapes that yeah. pop out the camera. I had to get it like converted, all kind of stupid shit. But did you tell him it he was, was on there? You told him he was good. No, I told him he sucked. <laughs> and then he got even more mad, and I and I shot him outside in the BMW. Oh no, I didn't hear about that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know. I always gunplay. No, 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 yeah, no, 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 the stories end the same. Yeah, really yeah, well, breaking the stereotype uh, there, who kid? Stop that game, man. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> have you seen him since then? Yeah, of course, many times. Oh, yeah. oh okay. You're still friends. Kardashians are like the homies. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know. But the thing that's great. He shared is, a tour bus with Chloe Kardashian. I yeah. love Chloe. She's Jesus. sexy, right? Yeah, I like Chloe too. OJ's daughter, right there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, no, she's yeah. cool as fuck. But he flipped the car, and then he he came out with through the wire. Yeah, and he blew up after that. So I got That's the phone call did. like an hour later. Oh, who kid? You know, he flipped his car. He's in the hospital. I was like, that same night. What? Yeah. That's he, hilarious. It's crazy. He wow. flipped his car. He broke his jaw. His mouth was wired shut. He recorded a song. He rapped a song with his mouth I wired shut. I thought you were just doing a line from a song just now. <laughs> the yeah. way you deliver that? Uh, that like, he flipped his guy, he broke his jaw. <laughs> how much would you have hated me if I started doing <laughs> Wait, how that? fucking <laughs> fat was he? Look at him. Yo, that's uh, that's an actual photo. Because he's all swelled up. Wait, yeah. his name should be Kanye East and West. I mean, Jesus, for Pete's sake, the guy's as chubby as chubby can be. See ya. He was going west in the East Lane. Wow. Look at that face. That's literally. What did he get hit with a Vaseline bottle? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking greasy motherfucker. <laughs> turn, turn the heat down in his room. <laughs> Must be 110. It's like an Ebola victim. He's in the same hospital Tupac was in. You know. Is that oh, was right? it? Was it real? <laughs> well, he broke his jaw and then rapped with his jaw broken. Well, he flipped. He, the, rapped, he, he flipped did. He did. A, yeah, he did one song. Called Through the Wire. And that blew him up. With his jaw wired shut. Pretty cool. And that was his biggest. Can we hear a second of that? Does it sound like his jaw's broken? You could, Yeah, you can tell. My jaw's broken. I can't really follow. <laughs> That's not what he If you like me on Twitter, feel free to follow. <laughs> uh. He do look like he's sweating though in that room though. That wasn't bad. That's a that's a good thing right there. I got I an album. Gonna... I got an album called, called "Through the Catheter." <laughs> <laughs> All right, Travis. A white guy in his fifties. <laughs> I see. You guys are looking at me like, "Hey, man, this guy looks this like guy he can't look... chew gum for nothing." <laughs> That's actually, yeah, got great nice material. Teeth, by the way, Thank man. you very much. I've been told I have really nice teeth. Thank the good Lord. That's a cute teeth right there. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're kind of slipping into a bad Johnny Carson again. I can't help it. I don't know who Johnny Carson Thank is. Thank the good Lord. Yeah. Two Jews walk into a good bar. Good stuff. Good yeah. stuff. <laughs> I'll tell bring, you, this is wild. Please don't bring up Johnny Carson again, because you know me, man. Oh, you want to hear a Johnny Carson. This <laughs> fucking Fuck moron. you. <laughs> so, like, this is like maybe, this is two years ago. Johnny Carson, we get a, a Johnny Carson book sent to the, the studio or whatever because whoever wrote it wants to be a guest on. Yeah, who kid walks into the oh, office? Wait a minute, that was his lawyer, right? Right, uh, that's Bombastic exactly it. Bush, Henry Bushkin, who we interviewed. Oh, Bushkin, yes. yeah. Yes, that was the book. Who kid walks into the office? It's like two years ago, probably. Who kid walks into the office? He picks up the book. He's like, "Oh shit, Johnny Carson's coming up here." <laughs> <laughs> like, oh no, I don't think so. Who kid? <laughs> he left the Tonight Show in '93. <laughs> he's dead. He passed away. He did now. Yeah, he's. And, and then who kid went down the hall? He's like, "No, you're fucking with me." And he actually went down the hall asking people, "Is Johnny Carson really dead?" <laughs> okay, he's dead. No, because <laughs> usually Bushkin. you guys get all the great guests, and uh, you always got a not the dead ones. The corn. You always got a corny book from them. Yeah. Before they come up here, you got to. Read that shit, which you uh, usually don't. <laughs> you read the forward. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yo, whatever's in the dust jacket. So once I saw that, yo, I went crazy. <laughs> yeah, he's dead. Who gets? Yeah, uh, we don't get all the good dead ones. Why well, I had to find that on air though? He's passed away. Well, That's I thought that was up. the better place to let you know. He had emphysema. <laughs> <laughs> he died from what? what emphysema. He's a bad. He smoked for many, many years. Yeah. And he said he was uh, retired. He was very private. He jumped off his boat. He had like a nice boat. Mm-hmm. Did he, he have was, a heart attack in the water, Jim? No, no, he didn't. He, no, he. Uh, but he was swimming a little bit. Like he just, and he said when he came up, he went underwater and he realized he couldn't catch his breath when he came up, and that was when he first knew something was wrong with him. 
And, uh, see, he died in 2005. How do you like that, Hookah? 2005. What, what do you die from? Uh, Kanye, Kanye, West, Kanye West hit him with his car. <laughs> 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 so you don't, you, you don't feel sympathy for Kanye's exhaustion? No, I, <laughs> oh, I don't know. I, again, working hard. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like he's in a coal mine fucking 18 hours a day. Real time. Surrounded by pussy, looking at fucking, you know, beats. And, Sucking yeah. on joints and designing shoes, like I said. He's How right. come you're not exhausted, DJ Who Kid? You're on tour. You're on tour with Waka Flocka Flame, and he's, I, uh, he was running for president. I'm see, like, next uh, time I see him, I'm going to call him Kid Who. I'm going <laughs> to fuck it all up. <laughs> Seriously, that's what I was going to call him like two seconds ago. Hey, you just said who, Kid. <laughs> kid Who. I got to get him to hang with me, man. I, you know, having orgies is, I mean, I'm not going to complain. I could be tired from that. Are you having orgies? Yeah. Do you guys have orgies after comedy shows? Yeah, <laughs> do, with right? fucking sixty-year-old maid at the Red Roof Inn and yeah. her sister, yeah. her sister Carlita. I left. jerk. Oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. I think I was just going to jump out. I jerk off with eating pretzels with the opener. That's all I could think of. <laughs> he had a better, more specific one. There's no way, Jim. I just wanted to talk orgy. about pretzels. Yeah, but yours is more realistic. <laughs> I actually had women in my. <laughs> Thank you. Who kids on tour with Waka Flocka Flame? Oh, I, and, I like them. And they've done. <laughs> so I like them. Waka I never Flocka met Flame w- is a man. I like Led Zeppelin. I like. Led Zeppelin, yeah, I like him. I like Led. He's a good guy. Do you meet gals after that? Huh? Let do, me. Do girls come He's back a good-looking guy. Of course he does. How old are you? Who kid? Forty-five. The fuck out of here. Crazy, right? <laughs> Here's what a stereotype. Huh? That's also why he wears that hat, though. Because let me tell you something. <laughs> oh no, Lou Gossett dreads. <laughs> LeBron James, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I got Italy on my front. <laughs> James. Okay. But here's where Waka Flocka and uh, Who Kid are geniuses. They don't tour like uh, hip hop venues and stuff. They do like non urban, baby. Yeah, non urban, like fraternities and sororities and stuff. They just go to venues with a whole bunch of white chicks. Oh, God. And then they you. do. God bless you. They do like EDM hip hop mixes. You know what I mean? So it's all dance music. No, I don't music. know what you mean. <laughs> Wait, what <laughs> was the one 54. that he wouldn't do? Wasn't there one he canceled? <laughs> Then, which one did he cancel because of the oh, racist? Nah. Uh, it was one, the bus. One That's coll- right. One college day. Yeah. The kids was walling out or some shit like that. Did but he's girl, been did, back since, hasn't he? Yeah, do yeah, girls yeah, like him? Don't give a fuck. The check went through. Do girls like him? The flame, yo. Do girls suck his penis? Huh? Do girls suck his penis? Well, you know, he's married. Oh, but I mean, would they if he was single? I mean, you know, I was talk for him. But if he were single... Is that Walker Flocker right yeah. there? He fucked everything. Yeah. Is that Walker Flocker or is that a strong safety for the Broncos? <laughs> 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 Looks like, look like every that. NFL draft is a big Sherman guy. right there. You know what I'm <laughs> yeah, he's got like, a lot of Richard Sherman in him. Oh, he, he was drafted in the second round, but he killed his girlfriend with a butter dish two weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to drop three notches. <laughs> yeah, that's Waka. <laughs> I mean, I went through like at least a couple hundred chicks. And we, we is that right? I think last week was our 200th and 10th show. I want to get on Christ. a. I need a rap tour. Look at how we piled what would the you do? last week. See, how, this Jimmy, we you do. got your comedy. This yeah, but no one fucks me after it. Look at the heinies on those choice. girls. We call that the moisture pyramid. Is that you? By the way, you know what my yeah. favorite thing Who Kid did was? He calls that the moisture pyramid, right? Yeah. Where he gets yeah. a bunch of uh, sluts to, to. No shame, by the way. No Respectable shame. Respectable women. Respectable sluts. To, to I just shit. got turned on by that cartoon you put up. Was that an actual drawing? That was no. That was that was a real was photo. Real, with that, a that's gotta be a filter, yeah. But it was like uh, he piles them up, and they're all in short shorts. So you know how uh, Heinies look good. You know mm. how Amy what Schumer to this country. Yes. Amy Schumer likes to do the human pyramid. <laughs> yeah. And you know how after her show that we went to at the garden, she had Madonna there, and they all did the human pyramid. Mm. Yeah. Who could took the photo off her Instagram and went, LOL. Now Amy Schumer and Madonna are doing the moisture pyramid. I love it. Oh, <laughs> like shit. it was his You're deal. A groundbreaker. I mean, there's nothing else for me to do. In this that's your that's planet. your shit, right? Yeah, fuck, <laughs> fuck contributing to black people. Yeah, I'm good. The, mo- the moisture pyramid. It's a the nightmare moisture out pyramid. there. Every day is like twenty thousand, ten thousand, thousand. Could be a different crowd. A lot there. of nice rumps in there, though. Yeah, you think so? But it ends in like. Head jobs and if I hung out with you guys at a show, like, you and I didn't do anything. If I was just there, do you think I can meet a girl? Yeah, you, yeah, you, you get to get a girl regardless. You think How many? so? Yeah. Why don't you fucking introduce me to WFF and uh, I, I hang out with you guys one night and I get blown? Nobody calls him WFF. I'm trying to sound a little fucking younger. I thought it was, was a wrestling fan. Oh, is that Waka oh, Flame? It's Waka Flocka Flame. Oh shit! Yeah, he can't do that, can he? <laughs> I bet you he'll love that. I mean, I think WFF. W double F. He would actually like that, probably. You think so? Yeah, he likes when white people be jumping around him and stuff. He does. He likes yeah. crazy white people. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but how about this? Sounds too much like a wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, okay, yeah. Uh, 
Uh, I'll, I'll, I don't know him, but I'll, I'll just hang out one time, mm -hmm. and then you can fucking introduce me to some girls. I don't know who I'd be. Just get cornrows, Jimmy. You in? My hair's too gray. I would look awful. Ah, you'd be the, like the, the cornrow guy with cancer. It'd be funny. <laughs> <laughs> who would you introduce me as if I hung out with you guys at a college? Mm. Well, didn't you have a didn't you have a rap name? Yeah. Did I? Kid, I, kid come. <laughs> <laughs> There's two M's though, so it's not gay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you had a rap name like, when you used to dress in like uh, in, in your, your Kangol hats and stuff. I don't stuff. remember. I don't remember either, I don't to tell you the truth. But, oh, J-Rock, that'd be my name. Oh, no. Do you like that? Easy Jizzy. <laughs> that's Kendrick Lamar is a homeboy. J-Rock? Yeah. That's you and uh, Waka Faka Flint. Yeah. This guy's the man right here. Yeah, he's a big guy. How tall is he, like 6'2"? Yeah, he's pretty tall. he's like tall. almost 7. He's not seven feet he's tall. That, he's a big guy. He's a big fucking dude. He's a yeah. big guy. Uh, yeah, well, yeah. introduce me to him and tell him, look, I just want to hang on a little bit. I don't want any money. I don't need any drugs. I just want to hang out and fucking uh, meet a girl. Let's do it. Eat an ass. Yeah, the one that he's not <laughs> eating. Eat an ass. Does it have to be a girl? <laughs> yeah, I prefer it. I don't think he'd care for my, my taste. Hey, yeah, are there any uh, Are there any ladies that might have bonus parts that show up at your shows? Like trannies? Yeah. Sure. There's got to be. Bonus yeah, parts. Got, I mean, everybody had a tranny once in their lives. Right? It's I had a boy. I like or... the attitude. <laughs> <laughs> bonus part. I have a bonus, bonus, bonus part. parts. Bonus parts, yeah. Sounds yeah. like a f f Frank Purdue sale. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys smash at least a thousand girls, one of them got to be a tranny. That's a lot of experience in sure. sexual activity. How many girls have you smashed? Like thousands. So you're saying there's been a few trannies in there? How many? I'm not saying a few, but guys. Well, if, if one for every thousand, and you said thousands, oh. so, that's yeah, multiple. so that's at least two. What happened yeah, one exactly. time when you noticed? Fuck there's me. one time that you knew. What happened? Did you just let her keep sucking your dick, or were you fucking? How did you know? Who kid? I'm white. I know math. There was one. Th <laughs> a, you're <laughs> not, and B, no, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I remember when I was really young, one of them had one of them like plastic pussies because like, they had the operation. And yeah, I figured it out. That's what they get, a plastic one? They don't even get no, a real one? No, they make, they make it Jimmy, how's that work? A lot, to be honest, you, you can feel the <laughs> difference. Is, is, is Ron yeah, Cole putting these up? This guy's a specialist. Of course he's a oh, specialist. Jimmy, oh, Jimmy, yeah. are you kidding me? I fucked one he's years a professional. ago, but I, and I didn't know it was a, it was a you could tell it was a, a medically created pussy, yeah. but I realized it after, <laughs> it didn't feel the same. It didn't feel the same. And it doesn't get wet. It might now, though. Yeah, that was how I knew. It was yeah. like, it was, something was wrong, and I could tell it was wrong. Mad lotion, you know, use lotion. Medically created. what? Huh. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, I was like, "What was that?" If you I could wanted tell that, it was a fucker girl. <laughs> Medically created. Put but you found know, two surgical up. gloves in it. <laughs> <laughs> when you figure it out, it's the worst feeling ever. Is exactly. It? Is like, it the worst, Jim? Yeah, I didn't. That's not what I wanted. Right. I just wanted to fuck a woman, and I I wouldn't have cared if I if it did. But I felt it felt different. Yeah. And then it just your instinct kicks in that there was something different. <laughs> I mean, if she's pre-op, that's one thing. At a boy, go for it. Do you think that? <laughs> I was like, see ya, Pat a boy. No, I wasn't like that. <laughs> That's a good name right there. Do you think Waka could help find uh, one of these people for Jim if you found out his rap name was Big Daddy James? <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, that's right. Big Daddy James. That's a good one. Put a tweet out. <laughs> yeah. I, got, I have to have a rap pose. Now I'll take Big my fingers Daddy Daddy James. Big Daddy James. Big Daddy James. You that like was, that? That was his rap name. It was stolen by some guy fucking DJ? Connie. <laughs> Kane. Kane. Some guy Kane took it in the yeah. 80s. Yeah. Big Daddy James. Are you sure it wasn't just... Uh, Little Jimmy thought Big Daddy Kane was cool and copied his name. No, someone took my name. You think I so? I had to drop it. Yes. Big Daddy James. Big Daddy James. Yes. <laughs> BDJ. I, I, got, I, got the, I got the best name for a fucking hip hop guy. What? Nobody's used it yet. What? what? what is fucking it? Jihad. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. G dash hard. H O G G. G fucking hard. Yeah. G hard. Be canceled. Huh? Yeah, you're no, right. No, it not It's a great it's name. It's a great name. Yo, G hard. Oh, G hard money. Oh, G hard women. How's G hard? He's blowing up, son. Oh, that would be <laughs> such right. a big hit. <laughs> Tell me that's not a good. That's your first mixtape, who kid? G hard I mean, blowing up. And here's one for a, for a oh. uh, you know what? A fucking punk band. G hard. There's already one. Oh, you! I bet you he got it from me. I'm telling you. He yeah. probably did take it from I'm you. I'm telling First of you, all, I said it years ago. I didn't know. I didn't know Eric I Andre. I didn't this know Eric Andre was a rapper. 2006. <laughs> <laughs> That's a real jihad out there. That's crazy. Yeah. And I got a great name for like a punk rock band, whatever. Fucking uh, crib death. <laughs> Crib death is good. Yeah. How good is that for it, it heavy is metal? Yeah. You guys can have that. Just give me peace. <laughs> <laughs> what's your uh, What's your guys' relationship with Ric Flair? Because I saw on your Instagram, Ric Flair. He's always hanging with us now. He was on Instagram going, yeah. woo, kid. Yeah, that's his remix now. Yeah. Yeah, very, very funny guy. So you guys hang with Ric Flair now? All the time. It's so weird. That's had, like, fucking awesome. We had yogurt, like frozen yogurt. And, you know, I'm black. I don't have frozen yogurt. I've told myself that's what it was before, too. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> what is frozen yogurt? I never had it. It's that. yogurt, but it's cold. It's delicious. It's fucking, there's a place. You never on had Kroger? 
There's a place on Santa Monica Boulevard yeah. called, uh, oh my god, it's, it's called... Uh, it's, 16 it, it, Handles? It, yeah, no. It's next to Rage, which is a club apparently for dancing and poppers. It's called, uh, <laughs> oh, the Yogurt the Stop on Santa Monica Boulevard. The Yogurt Stop? Me and Jonathan, Brent, my manager, will go there. They think the we're a couple. Stop. The we, Yogurt Stop. Dude, it's the You ever make a Yogurt Stop, who can? Best place on earth. Fuck no. The Yogurt Stop fucking <laughs> rules. That's Literally. the other... That's is that other. a chain thing? Because I went to one of Gillette's. Is, is, when you walk in, there's a whole bunch of machines. Yeah, you machines. make your own. But you make your own. They're all funny names. Like, they're kind of gay names. Like, <laughs> no. Like, but no. Like, yeah, yeah, the no, yogurt the, stop. Yeah, like, coming, yeah. like, you know, coming out orange or whatever. They, all these weird names. <laughs> what? They, 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 these gay names. And, no, gay names. The Santa Monica Boulevard. They, they, they do it's it. Like, it's a joke. You go to a gay frozen yogurt shop? There's so many other frozen yogurt shops. It's the place we go to. It's delicious. There's one at Gillette Stadium. The, is there's there? one at, when I, yeah. Is it a yogurt stop or 16 handles? People, oh, I don't know. It was one of those chain joints that I walked in handles. and it was fucking like it's soft the best thing on earth. Yolk. Best thing on earth. It was unbelievable. Well, well, ice ice cream is better. The ice cream is better, but I annoyed Bob <laughs> yeah, Kelly yeah. one day singing because you know Sixteen Candles is a song, so I kept singing Sixteen Handles and it really <laughs> bugged him. That's actually that's actually a good point. Who kid? Neil, uh, you know who? <laughs> he got mad at me though for some reason. Who? Who did? Who did? Uh, Rick Flair because you know I, when I eat ice cream, I thought it was ice cream, so I licked it from the side. Mm -hmm. But he said you got to go from the top. That's what Ric Flair said? No, you start from the side, then you go up, and you say, oh, we started, I'm going to start at the bottom, but now I'm here. But the he went from the top. Oh. Wait, 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 Who, kid? What? Do you have any idea what Jim just did to you? No, what Nothing. Happened? I'm just talking about ice cream. He said, he's trying to relate to you. What? <laughs> 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 and no. he's, because he knows, you know, you're a hip-hop guy. Yeah, he's a hip-hop guy. And he said, when you eat your ice cream, uh -huh. you go from the side, and you start from the bottom, and now you're here. I said, no, I said, I said you start at the bottom, now you're here. That's right. This, what's wrong with that's that? That gel shit. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, what is that fucking? It's a, it's a Drake not... song. Oh, <laughs> jeez, you guys are getting too deep. Can we talk about the Partridge Family? I was, I was very upset that's when that, they broke up. That's what he was not doing to you. I looked at my yogurt. And I said, I think I love you. <laughs> <laughs> what am I so afraid of? They said, Jim, I'm how a do you feel? <laughs> oh, that's a monkey. Why, why, why are you eating yogurt? Come on, get happy. I'm a believer. Uh, I'm doing the monkeys. I'm I used to watch that show. That's how old I was. What, did. the monkeys? No. Uh, yeah, uh, the Partridge family. It was fucking great, wasn't it? Oh, the Partridge family. family. Yeah. Yeah, I used to jerk off to Susan Day, didn't you? didn't? Of course oh. I did. Well, no, no not uh, her, the other one. Her and the little red-headed kid. Yeah, the other yeah, one. Uh, Jenny Bonaduce. I'm a little house on a prairie nigga, though. <laughs> Is that <laughs> what you... Yeah, I've always <laughs> thought that about you. That's a sentence I've never heard before. No. Yeah. <laughs> I've always thought when, that when, about when you. Laura Ingalls fell down the hill? Holy shit. That's right. That was a shit right there. You know what? You know what would be a great podcast? that? Listen. Yeah, me and him. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I would love to hear. I know who could do. Uh, <laughs> who could do Little House on the Prairie uh, alternate commentary? Like, do the director's commentary? Like, oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> that bitch fell out of hell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> see your pace. Yeah, I think so. That was sexy though. That was the. I never saw that show. Little House on the okay. Prairie. I didn't watch it. I worked when I was touring with Dice. He did a bit about Michael Land. It was so fucking brutal because he loved that show. <laughs> when he got brain cancer, Asked, no, he, he had a, he got a colon cancer. Yeah. So that's how the, Andrew couldn't remember his name on stage. He goes, "You know that show with that? What's his name? Asshole cancer." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fucked up. He and then that. asshole cancer comes. Oh my god, it's one of the most brutal bits ever. Asshole cancer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he was funny, man. <laughs> Oh my God! The Jew with the rusted pipe. <laughs> <laughs> Horrible. The, the Ingles, doesn't hold baby, up. The Ingles. Have you fucked any groupies with Ric Flair? Uh, nah, hell no. Because he always—I yeah. don't know if he's doing it anymore because he's so old. But he always tells stories about. He used to go <laughs> How on air. How old is he, Sam? He's pretty fucking old. How old? Ah, uh, that'd be like seventy something. Oh, something. Yeah. what kind of sneakers are those? Oh, that is pretty old. It's pretty old. Nice. I can breathe again. Oh, those are nice. Ooh. I would wear those. I have. I have typically. Let me see what these kind are. Of not Jordans. People thought mine were Jordans. They're not. What are those? Like Elevens? Uh, I ain't gonna wear those. I'm gonna get shot. Yeah. Yeah. Those are up. Uh, the, these look like Jordans, but they're not. They do not. They do. They're, they're like, fucking Asics. They look like Gordons. They look like muffins. <laughs> I have fat muffins. Those are the ones you... Let me tell you something. Muffin shoes. Yeah, they look shoes. like Jordan Mosh. <laughs> That's a you store. You know what? Who, kid? Muffin shoes. You got to L.A. every now and then, right? Yep. yep. Going to L.A. Sunday. Yeah, you? You, ever, you ever go to a, 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 a party at a celebrity residence? Oh, at a mansion? I, I've only sure. had a one. Celebrity residence. At a celebrity <laughs> residence. <laughs> what are we doing? Meet the press? <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> You've been to one? A domicile? Yeah. Wh which one was it? Have I been to more than one? Oh, shit. Well, we one. went to one. <laughs> yes. At, uh, well, I didn't even see her, though. 
You didn't see Maria? No, I saw her, but she was talking to fucking oh. Michael Strahan, so I don't bother. We went to Maria Menounos' oh. house what? for oh. a big party while we were oh. out there, okay? Oh, my oh. God, that bitch is bad. She's my favorite. Right, she's that's amazing. what I thought so, Nick. On the fucking planet. No one is sexier yeah. than her. Holy no shit. one is sexier. Huh? Isn't she the she's best? so sexy. She comes up to me at the beach ball. She goes, I met you at Comics Come Home a few years oh, ago. Oh, she's from Boston, right? Yeah, she's, she's a Boston from Medford. Girl. No. I, I probably sold cable to her parents. <laughs> I did. I fucking was selling cable in Medford. Yeah. How sexy. Amazing. Greek. That bitch is My bad. top. She's yeah. amazing. That's. Yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll eat the booty. Yeah. yeah oh, without, without a doubt. Yeah. I yeah. would eat the booty. I, I know her boyfriend. I don't want to say. Her her fiance. Fiance. Her fiance. Yeah, oh, yeah, she's yeah. got a fiance. I'll still eat the yeah. booty. Yeah. I mean, she's been with him for 19 years, Kevin Undergaro. Yeah. <laughs> Nick just had this look Fuck of him. You no, I got a great one. I'm just saying. <laughs> right, right, I got right. A beautiful married. But so, like, happily married. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm just saying, if I wasn't. <laughs> so we go to this big. Uh, if you wasn't, you'd eat her ass after she did a handstand on her period. And I understand. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yipes. <laughs> we go to the big uh, Undergar of Maria Menounos bash, and all these people are there. Bash. Michael, there's a bash. <laughs> Michael Strahan was there. Everybody who's anybody was there. But there's yeah. a big drop off after that. With Jim showed up, and Corey Feldman was there. What? That's the <laughs> homie right there. Word him up, Doc. You got a hot record out, too. Jim showed up wearing those shoes. <laughs> so what? No one looked at my feet. I mean, he's doing him. No, Thank you. What's the matter with those shoes? He's like, <laughs> they're comfy. Like se security guard shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Someone told me they're like muffins. <laughs> 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 no, you know what it is, man? I showed up there and uh, I said, Sam was complaining. I said, we were going to bury our son. Why did you care what I had on my feet? <laughs> <laughs> I've been complaining about your fucking shoes all week. Yeah, I know, because Sam is a foot fetish. So if he tries to get a heart, I'll look at my toes. <laughs> yeah, I, I, had, I had new Jordans on. And he had those on. And he had big those deal. on. And but neither one of us got laid. So there you go. I was there with my wife. I got laid. No, you didn't. I don't know if I got laid that she night. No, but she didn't. She told you me. You're married? Yeah. How old are you? 33. Oh. He's a sucker. That's about right. I would, I would wear, I would wear <laughs> Who Kids shoes, though. Those are nice. Like, yeah, I, I, yeah. I've never worn a pair of Jordans. Maybe I should go get a nice pair of Jordans. Yeah. Which, which, uh, which, uh, which, which ones are the, uh, the MJ collection of those? Oh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a second. I can't be a little urban in my late 40s. Which slam MJs? Dunk. What are those doing? <laughs> yeah, what are those? Are those the slam dunkers? No, nah, these are the those are the, uh, Those are nice. I'd wear those. Those are the yeah, trip. Here's a good name for a sneaker. Triple doubles. I wish I had the Yeezys. <laughs> the fuck? I'm like a marketing genius. I don't like the Yeezys. The Yeezys are ugly. Uh, Let me see the Yeezys. They're fucking terrible. Which they, ones aren't going like to get me shot? That's my uh, question. Uh, Mine. <laughs> well, <laughs> no, people would kill you just No, they would so think you're broke. <laughs> Black guys see these shoes, they leave you alone because they're like, this guy no, has no money. They <laughs> shoot you because they're putting you out of your misery. You would have a life that you would wear those, those shoes. Are some, what the they're fuck? Fucking those wicker are shoes. Ugly. They're wicker. They're wicker. ugly. Wicker. They're those ugly. Are, those are quite honestly twenty five hundred for these. They're the terrible. They're Wait the a minute. hottest shoes in the oh, game yeah. right now. I can see how water five, must beat up on those in the rain. Five thousand <laughs> for these. <laughs> for which ones? They're like Nerf shoes. People are so dumb. They're ugly. People 5, fucking 000. love them. Who love wears them. those? Like, Everybody wears the, them. The brothers wear those too. The brothers, uh, the sisters, uh, the whites, the rich Hispanics. Twenty five hundred. Rich white kids. So yeah, those are very yeah. faggy shoes. Rich white dope. kids and rappers. Hey, look, twelve ninety nine. These are the new ones that just came out. Who yeah. the fuck would pay that? They're yeah. ugly. Look at that. It looks uh. like somebody crushed a fucking guava melon on the street. What an <laughs> ugly fucking shoe. Today's the first day in that weeks. That made no sense. I'm glad we're on radio. What? <laughs> Today's the first day in weeks that Who Kid <laughs> hasn't worn his. Look at that thing. I, it looks like some. <laughs> You, uh, did, would, would a guy in the hood get mad if you stepped on his Yeezys? Oh, it's on, oh, it's on and popping, it's baby. It's over. It's over. If over. I stepped on Yeezys with my shoes, and got mud on his Yeezys. Oh, it's over. Look at those fucking stupid. They're ugly. They're, they're ugly. They're not even functional. Exactly. I want to sit in those shoes. Yeah. Uh, you can get the fake ones. Too, I like, for like those. 50 bucks. Yeah, I want to get Yazis. <laughs> what are those? I'd wear a fake like those. Yeezys. Those are the ones you just looking at. I those want a pair Yeezys. of fake Yeezys. Those are wicker too. Legit. I want a pair of fake legit. Yeezys. Legit. I know. Legit. You gotta, you gotta go through the LC. The legit check. <laughs> the, what's the legit check? That's when you know where on the shoe it changes. Mm -hmm. Like the fake ones have certain little things that are always for the my same. special. I'm gonna wear fake so you, Yeezys on purpose. You are? Yes, I want to wear fake Yeezys. Uh, well, I, I'll find out a place to get some fake Yeezys Please for you. Please tell me. But I have. I have problem is I have, and I'm gonna tell all the guys oh, in the no, shop. No, don't do this. What? Is it the Y? I have wide feet. I'm gonna tell the fellas. <laughs> listen, guys, gang, I have wide feet mm -hmm. and I have orthotics. <laughs> You're not gonna find. Fake Yeezys on eBay, D-Bag, because they would be illegal. You wouldn't label them street. fake Yeezys. Come I'm going to go to Harlem and get some fake Yeezys. I have very narrow and ah, dark feet. That's what I want to wear, some Drugalinis. Oh, my God, they're only $65. There you go, yeah, they $68, Yugalinis.
Holy shit, they look Dr. like Dr. Ugolini. <laughs> do they look like Yeezys? <laughs> Dr. Ugolini. Yeah, they do. Okay, I'm going to wear a nice pair of Dr. Ugolini's on my special. <laughs> Can we get them a pair of fake Yeezys? I'm going to get them some fake Yeezys. No, but I have to try them on. I'll, You're not going to go into a shoe store and get you. fake Yeezys. Get you. Why? You They're fucking them. bootleg. Yeah, exactly. Well, they, they sell them somewhere. You get them from a guy. All right, I want a pair of I want a pair of Dr. Yogalini's. <laughs> I'm gonna wear a pair. I don't want real Kanye Dr. shoes. Yogalini. I want Dr. Yogalini's. So, <laughs> what you know, si- Benny is- What size yeah. fake Yeezys are you? I'm gonna guess an eight. Um, I'm gonna hook you up, man. Okay, thank you. I'll I don't bring, want the real the ones. Yeah, yeah. No. If Kanye gave them to me, I would wear them, but I don't want real Yeezys. I don't like them. I want those are nice. The black ones I would wear, but not at that price. <laughs> 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 65 big ones. Ah. 65 99 66 dollars that's about. a sensible shoe yeah, what's the, right. exactly uh, right Kanye should release are these Kanye designs? No, well, the design, are, yeah. Well, yeah, the Kanye I mean, I know just, Dr. Ugolini, obviously, <laughs> cornered the market. I think that he stole them from Dr. Ugolini. <laughs> I'm a big Dr. Ugolini guy. Um, Boost 350 running shoes, pirate black with re- 7 to 10. Pair got, Dr. Ugolini's wonderful. I got some Nas slippers that I'm <laughs> selling on eBay. <laughs> No but, Jordans for you, huh? Just fake Yeezys? I would wear Jordans. Jordans are nice, and they've been around for 30 years. So, yeah, those are Well, those have. You got to get Jordan 1s if you want one. If I like, if I like them, I would, Rich will, Voss will buy them because he thinks they look younger. Like, I'm, I just like his sneakers. Right. Yeah. I never wanted to wear Jordans. Like, you, people look at me and they think I'm fashionable, but they don't look at my whole outfit. <laughs> I see. I see. I want to see him wearing the, the Pharrell ones. They're like 8,000. The Adidas ones? Yeah. yeah. What are those? I've seen some, but you can get those fake too. I've seen them. No, there's no fuck fake do you ones. you know all this? Because I like sneakers Where did too. did you grow up in Detroit? <laughs> He's a fashion right fuckhead. Hood? No, I've I've seen the I've seen the legit check videos on the Pharrell. Those are kind of no sneakers. white people that can wear that and look cool. I'm sorry. No, those aren't those aren't them. The new Pharrell. Go to flightclub.com. Go yeah, yeah. Club. Pharrell sneakers. Flight thousand dollars. What are you doing? This yeah. is where if, you, you, want, if you want to get ripped off, you go to this website. Flight Why? club. Yeah. Well, they're, flight they're gonna be real. Yeah. They're, they're gonna be legit. They're all real. But Where's the Flight ex- Club song? I mean, I mean, store. Uh, it's here. It's, it's on. on uh, it's, in, it's in a village. Is this Harlem in the village? Just type. They in. have no, the real. No, they have all the real search. stuff. Yeah. Can you try the shoes on? Go to search and type for. No, I, I mean, you, you can, but yes, you you can I try have the orthotics. shoes on. I should go down there and buy a pair of. This sneaks. is still a radio show, right? Yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> what does this sound like? People listening in their cars. Two hundred bucks. You're examining shoes they can't see. That's right. No, they're gonna see that. No, those no, aren't them. No, 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 those aren't them. They look like a fake Nike. Where's my Dr. Ugolini's? I want a pair of Dr. Ugolini's. <laughs> there it is. It's the it's the human Dr. race Dr. Ugolini's. Not those. Look at that. Two hundred dollars. That's t- a sensible nice shoe. tampon shoe. That's a nice shoe tampon. <laughs> yes. Yep. Come on. Try my used rags. Those are yellow. Bucks. Look at that. Four fifty. That's a sensible shoe. That's a shoe I'd wear on uh, P Diddy's yacht. You know, what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> on New Year's Eve in St. Bart's. That's not that bad. I mean, four fifty is a lot of money for a shoe, but I mean, I, I would wear that. You can handle it. My agent bought me a pair. By the way, a beautiful. I, my my stupid agent Bob Eatman had a pair of shoes on that were great, mm. and I told him how much I like him. He sent me a is pair. Is he a radio agent? Yes. Okay. It's like six hundred fifty dollars shoes. I've never paid that much for a shoe in my well, life. You must be yeah. done well for yourself. Um. You know what? It's, I think that's what it uh, signified. New God deal coming right up, Jimbo. I have my uh, my Jordan top threes coming in the mail tomorrow. Oh, snappies. Um, <laughs> I, but I would wear a nice pair. Well, I'm going to go to that place, Flight Club. Is there a line? Uh, no. Can no, I go in? Definitely yeah, not. you can go in. There's no line. What? What are you pointing at? Well, that's my nigga. <laughs> Who is it? <laughs> Doesn't nigga. Kid Rock oh. have some sandals or something like that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kid, Kid Rock actually did come out with some boots, though. Yeah, did he really? Oh, really? Carhartt makes them, I think. Oh, good. Some cowboy shit. Some yeah. nice. Some stomping boots. I'm wearing Lemmy Uggs. <laughs> <laughs> we should take a break. Who can? You got to go interview Bill Bellamy, right? Yeah, well, whatever. Bill. I actually know Billy. Do you? We did the Young Comedian special together back in the early 50s. Is that Bill? <laughs> Was it? No, I think it was just video. Oh, guy. okay. Yeah, yeah, I don't. No. I, Bill doesn't guy, remember Billy. me. He's I don't think he remembers dude. me. But we did. Uh, I told the story before. The worst show in my life was when Bill Bellamy was hosting, <laughs> mm-hmm. and it was in a, a black club in called e, uh, Club Eighty Eight in East Orange. I would. Bob Why Levy would you go in there? Oh, this is nineteen ninety three. When did when did Rodney King get beaten up? Why the right fuck that. would you go in there? I was doing a gig, and Bob Levy was killing. I mean, I bombed horribly. <laughs> Levy was killing. Of course. I was doing so badly. <laughs> after Rodney King meeting. It wasn't that long after. Yeah. Um, when was it? 91? Yeah, it was probably like, you know, like not long after. So there was still racial tension. And then yeah. Bob like, asked the guy what he did for a living. And the guy's like, I'm a cop. And Bob's like, why don't you take a club and beat yourself? And it <laughs> iced the room. 
<laughs> I mean, what? He was, he, I, that was, didn't work. Ice it was the right. Room. It, no, it was right after that. It was so just, what? Well, I'm just telling you. It was, you know, he was killing up until then. The ice. The that's room. where they draw the line. <laughs> well, not you know. I, that's 25 fair. years ago. You can hear uh, DJ Who Kid every oh, Saturday no at Lord. what at noon. Uh, yeah, whenever I get Whenever there. you get there. No. Every Saturday, uh, m- for most of Saturday over on Shade 45. 12 to 6, yeah. 12 to 6, uh, you get to hear interviews and, uh, mm. some of the newest hip-hop hits, <laughs> as yeah. it were. Very uh, Caucasian. Also, yeah. if you want to hear a podcast all about, about the... some joints, man? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Nick DiPaolo is playing all the hip-hop joints on I his podcast. I call my bitch joints now on my <laughs> CDs. Yo, I gotta get Nick on the show, man. <laughs> <laughs> the Nick DiPaolo podcast is on iTunes, and it's at connectpal.com slash Nick. And uh, nickdepalo.com is his website. 